हेलो माई सेल्फ शेख सादी फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ क्लिनिकल एक्सीलेंस डी सी डी सी हेल्थ सर्विसेज टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कैन्यूलेशन टेक्निक्स ऑफ आर्टीरियो वीनस फेस्टोला द आर्टीरियो वीनस फेस्टोला इज कंसिडर्ड एज द फर्स्ट चॉइस ऑफ वैस्क्यूलर एक्सेस फॉर हीमोडायलिसिस बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली द इम्प्रॉपर कैन्यूलेशन टेक्निक्स एज लीड्स टू इट्स कॉम्प्लिकेशन एंड फर्दर फेलियर The complications can be venous stenosis, thrombosis, aneurysm and infiltration. The infiltration alone can lead to the extra dependency on catheters. In this session we will discuss about the cannulation techniques, needle option and key features thereby enhancing the patient center care and the AVF survival. Firstly we will discuss the attributes of fistula needle. The first attribute is the needle type. Generally, we have two types of needle. The one having the sharp edges called as sharp needle, other one having the round edges called as blunt needle. We generally use sharp needle as per the National Kidney Foundation's guideline. Before going to the second attribute of the fistula needle, I would like to explain you about the diagram of the fistula needle. The fistula needle consists of wings, needle shaft, bevel and back eye. Second attribute is needle gauge. Needle gauge is defined as the outer diameter of the needle shaft. Generally the gauge size ranges from 14 gauge to 18 gauge. It is markedly important that to the as the gauge size increases the diameter decreases. That means the 14 gauge needle has big diameter as compared to the 18 gauge needle choice of gauge may depend on av fistula's expansion maturation and its vintage except for the initial cannulation the guidelines do not recommend the use of a specific gauge but rather the use of the needle which matches the blood flow this table indicates that the blood flow that can be accommodated through the needle of different gauge size For example the 17 gauge needle cannot accommodate a blood flow of more than 300 ml per minute The third attribute is needle length The choice of needle length can be depend on the depth of the fistula How deep a fistula is situated Generally the AV fistulas are situated at the depth of 0.4 to 1 cm For that we use the needle of length having 1 inch to prevent the back penetration of the needle into the vessel the shortest needle should be used in case of superficial fistulas in order to cannulate the fistulas which are situated at the depth of more than 1 cm one has to keep in mind that the needle length should be used is 1.25 inches coming to the next part we will discuss about the preferred placement sites of arteriovenous fistula Ideally the fistula should be created in the non dominant hand and in the distal location. Generally the fistulas are created in the wrist that is the radiocephalic fistula in the elbow region that is the brachiocephalic fistula and in the upper arm region that is the brachiobasilic fistula. Coming to the assessment part of the AV fistula one need to observe for the signs of redness infection abscess drainage previous placement sites infiltration palpation need to be done to track the access for its pulsation and thrill the auscultation is done with the use of a stethoscope in which the brute and the thrill of the fistula is listened to through the stethoscope a well functioning fistula can have a continuous brute which can be listened through the stethoscope an obstructed fistula can have a discontinuous pulse like brute coming to the cannulation part it is well known that rule of 6 is followed for the cannulation of av fistula which suggest that ideally the fistula should be situated at 6 mm deep the diameter of av fistula after creation should be 6 mm the maturation time of av fistula should be 4 to 6 weeks the distance between the withdrawing that is the arterial 
and the returning that is the venous needle should be 6 cm the fistula should be cannulated at the distance of 6 cm from the anastomosis needle site selection it is the direction of blood flow that determines the needle placement this is why the venous needle must point towards the venous return the arterial needle on the other hand may be point towards the either direction first one is the antegrade when the arterial needle is point in the direction of blood flow retrograde when the arterial needle is pointed towards the anastomosis continuing the cannulation technique part it is important to secure the vascular axis to support and secure the vascular axis we use three point techniques in which we stabilize the ab fistula with the help of forefinger and thumb pull the skin taut towards the cannulator while compressing the dermis and the epidermis this allows for easier cannulation and temporary pain interruption always cannulate the needle in bevel up position meaning the back eye should be facing the cannulator angle of insertion angle of insertion may vary case to case but generally we use the angle between 20 to 35 degree the rope ladder technique it is the classical technique used in the dialysis center which uses the entire fistula length in this technique the cannulation is done at a distance of 1 inch from the previous cannulation site following the straight path when the entire length of the av fistula is used the previous cannulation sites are repeated following the straight path benefits of rope ladder technique the first benefit is it expands the life span of av fistula the second benefit is it gives the time to heal previous cannulation site the third important benefit is it prevents aneurysm second technique the button hole cannulation technique we use this technique to cannulate the av fistula of the patient at the same angle same depth and same point of cannulation benefits of button hole technique the first benefit is the few infiltration second benefit is it is easier for the technician to cannulate using this technique the third benefit is it is less painful for the patients coming to the cannulation procedure part apply a tourniquet to the axis arm disinfect the axis site as per the unit protocol attach a 10 ml syringe filled with normal saline solution to prime the needle and remove the ear carefully cannulate the fistula using a 25 degree insertion angle when the blood flashback is observed flatten the angle of needle parallel to the skin and advance it slowly into the fistula lumen when the needle is in the vessel remove the tourniquet and tape the needle securely as per the unit protocol if blood flashback is visible aspirate 1 to 5 ml of blood with the 10 ml syringe flush the needle with the normal saline solution and clamp the syringe must aspirate and flush with ease monitor for the signs and symptoms of infiltration patient usually experience immediate sharp pain upon infiltration of saline or blood into the tissues repeat steps 1 to 6 for the second needle placement it is also important to follow the hand hygiene before cannulating the av fistula please drop your queries and questions in the comment section thank you